It all starts with a spark. And then you add some fuzzy bits, some wispy bits, a little bit of shards, and a whole lot of magic. I used to not go to school for art whatsoever, in fact. I studied neuroscience and I had a pre-med focus. I was sitting in class one day, you know, thinking like, what, what am I doing here? I don't love what I'm doing. I'm not super into what I'm doing. And then I was like, wait, no, like I love art and I love games. How can I bring these together? Then I made the blind decision to just go to Ringling College of Art and Design for their game art program. How do I even get started? How does one just be like, I want to make digital wizardry? How? Like, wh there's no, there's no course for that. So it's just a lot of Googling, doing tutorial after tutorial. And that got me to a good place. But there was no one really giving me feedback. There was no one encouraging me how to grow the craft. Thankfully, one of the students at my school, he mentored me. Funnily enough, he actually interned at Riot the summer before me. Love that dude. Applying to Riot, you give them your summoner name, you give them like your portfolio and all that fun stuff, right? So I remember submitting it at like four in the morning. Then for the rest of the day, just constantly being like, did I submit it right? Did I do it right? Like, did I fuck up? Oh no, like what if I did? Friday at seven, they sent me an email. And it was like, hey, like, uh, it was great talking to you. You know, the whole team wants to meet you. They want to fly you out to LA. And I was like, oh fuck. I walk into this conference room, right? And you know, there's TV out, there's like little snackies and everything. But the craziest thing was on that TV was my portfolio website. It was just my blog with all my artwork. And I just kind of wanted to cover it up almost because I was like, no, like, no, look at it. Like, you guys are, your artists are so good. Like, I'm just doing, like, please, please don't look at it. And then for the, the rest of the course of the day, we just kind of looked at my art and, like, gave it critiques and talked about it and, like, what I can learn from it, how I could benefit from going to Riot. I've learned so much in my internship at Riot, more so than any amount of self studying can teach. It's more than just finding what you love and doing it, it's finding what you love and obsessing over it. Make that a core part of your identity and who you are as a person. It's important that you become an expert at your craft and you grow at it, but also like it lets you help others grow at the same time. I want to go back to school and I want to mentor someone. Like I want to be that person who teaches someone else who brings up visual effects and who kind of grows that community and grows that discipline. Because it's really important to be able to learn from others and also teach others.